Today I'm going to share with you my review of this single group espresso machine Cosmo or otherwise known as Gemini CRM3018. Affordable, easy to use and good quality espresso. I'm going to show you the features of this machine but first let's take a look at what comes with the machine. It comes with this beautifully packaged stainless steel mirror casing on the machine itself and also it comes with a porta filter with double spout stainless steel comes with a single basket and a double basket it's actually beautifully designed i like the design of this porta filter and the basket it also comes with a temper stainless steel temper it comes with two brushes one is to clean the group head and it's also got on the other end of this brush a scoop to scoop up the detergent that you will use to clean up your group head. It also comes with a brush to clean the basket. So these are the ones that come with the machine. Now let's take a look at what's built in the machine. It comes with a 1.7 liter water tank capacity, which is located at the back of the machine. And you can easily see whether the tank is full or you need to refill the water tank. Now make sure you always fill the water tank because you don't want it to dry up. It can easily destroy your machine. It's got a pressure gauge at the side of the machine which tells you the pressure as you pull the shots, not before. So if it doesn't move when you turn the machine, that's perfectly fine. It comes with buttons on the panel here. The first one is to pull your hot water coming out of the stainless steel hot water nozzle. It comes with a single shot button, double shot, and a manual flow button. Now all of these are programmable depending on how you would like to pull your espresso shots. Now the program for pulling espresso shot is not determined by the volume of the espresso shots that you pull but by the time that you wish to pull your espresso shots. For single shot espresso the ideal amount to pull your espresso shot should be between 21 to 29 seconds. Make it 25 that's even better and for the double shot it could be from 25 to 35 seconds and then for the manual flow you can start and stop depending on how much espresso you'd like to pull so if you'd like to pull restrator shots 20 mil 40 mil 45 mil i would suggest that you use the manual flow button this last button here is for turbo for the steam because without this the steam pressure is not strong enough for beginners it's probably okay not to use the turbo button but for advanced users i would suggest that you use the turbo otherwise the steam pressure is just not there this machine also has a multiple boiler one for the hot water one for the pulling the espresso shots and the other for the steam this machine comes with two switches one is to turn on the machine which i'm going to turn on now and once it's turned on you will see the panels here blinking that means the machine is getting ready for use now once the blinking stops that means you are ready to use your machine and trust me this one heats up very very quickly in matter of two minutes or less now the other switch is for the steam for those that do not use the steam regularly because most of your drinks are say iced coffee then you can keep the steam switch off this way you can save electricity. The power consumption of this machine is 3000 watts. So cutting off the steam power would mean you can cut your electricity cost. But I'm going to turn on both the switches now. And as you can see, now the blinking has stopped. That means we are ready to use the machine. The machine also comes with a removable drip tray, which you need to keep draining every time it gets full. So it is manual. It comes with a stainless steel hot water nozzle, stainless steel 58 millimeter diameter group head. It comes with a steam one, which is a little bit short for my liking. And um, the top serves as a cup warmer. So every time you pull your espresso shots and you make hot drinks, it is advisable to keep your cups warm as well. Some even use hot water to rinse the cup so that it is perfectly warm. With this, it will be warm all the time. With this machine, you can pull your espresso shot and also steam your milk at the same time. So get making sure that you don't waste time. This machine uses pre-infusion. That means the first time you press the button, some of the water will come out to infuse the coffee and then the second time. So you will hear two sounds. To program the buttons here, press the button until you have reached the desired amount of espresso and the time that you're aiming for. If it flows too fast, that means your espresso shot will be sour and you should adjust the temp pressure, you should adjust the grind size 
and you should also adjust the amount of coffee that you put in your basket. So it's the same for the double shot of espresso. Make sure that the flow is regulated and it's not too fast or too slow. Once you get the perfect timing required, then that is the program that you will set for these two buttons. But if you cannot set them properly, you can always use the manual start and stop button here. Now let's pull one shot of espresso. For one shot of espresso, I usually use about nine grams of coffee beans and pull it within 21 to 29 seconds. Now let's make a hot latte. I'm going to use the scale, which is the timer and the volume of my espresso shot. And as I can see here, the flow of my espresso is just about perfect. Now let's use the steam. The steam wand comes with a steam tip with three holes. Now for some, and including me, this is not strong enough. I normally use the steam tip with four holes, which makes it just about right for when I steam my milk and get that microphone. I'm going to try and make a latte art. I think my milk is a little bit too foamy. But there you go. Not perfect, but good enough. I'm going to pull two shots of espresso for my iced coffee. And we have iced latte using espresso pulled from Cosmo or Gemilai CRM 3018. If you'd like to know the recipe for this drink, check out my other video clips. In terms of size, this is compact, it's easy enough to put on your bars in your coffee shops or if you have a coffee corner at home, this will perfectly fit. In terms of weight, it is very light, it's only 11.5 kilograms, you can lift it, but I don't advise that you keep moving your espresso machine. Well, at least if you are using this machine for, say, off-site catering, it's easy enough to take anywhere with you. So those are the advantages of this machine. Now let's take a look at what challenges I faced when I used this machine. First, the programming of the buttons. Because it is time-based, I found that it is not consistently well. That means sometimes I get the right amount of espresso within the time I specified, sometimes not. There could be many different factors resulting in that inconsistency. It could be because of the temp pressure, it could be because of the grind size of my coffee beans, it could be the amount of coffee beans that I put in my basket, and a lot of other things. But for now, I'm saying that if you would like to get that consistently perfect shot once you program your coffee grinder to match this machine, then I would suggest that you use the manual flow button. I use the scale or I use a shot glass so I can determine exactly the amount of espresso that I would like to get out of my shot. The second thing that I face with this is the pressure of the steam. It is not strong enough for me, even if I use a turbo. And uh, so what I did is to change the steam tip from the three hole to the four hole. So if you can find that, that will be perfect. Another thing that I found with the steaming is that because the steam one is quite short before it hits the handle here, the rubber handle here. So when I use a 360 milliliter steaming pitcher, perfectly fine. When I use a 600 milliliter, this one is too long for this. So I always have to just tilt my steaming pitcher if I'd like to steam my milk. So that is inconvenient. What else have I found with this machine? Well, it is kind of annoying to always make sure that the drip tray is empty, but I suppose even my Nova Simonelli Musica, it is that way. So it's just something that you have to live with. Another thing that I found because the machine is light and small, whenever I put my portafilter filter into the group head, it always moves with the group head. So there you go. Those are the challenges that I found when using this machine, but if you are looking for an easy to use machine that produces good quality espresso and does not break the bank, then definitely go for Cosmo or Gemini 3018. Now, because I'm next to my Maximus Pro here, which is Gemini 3200D, I would just give a brief comparison between the two. In terms of size, well, this is definitely smaller and this is slightly bigger. This is about 15 kilograms. This is 11.5 kilograms. In terms of power consumption, this one is 3000 watts. This one 
consumes less electricity with 2700 watts in terms of the look i would say some might like this look because it's small and compact i love the look of this one it's just about the right size it's very very comparable with my nova simonelli musica machine in terms of functionality exactly the same functionality but this one uses time to set the program whereas this one uses the volume of your espresso shot to set the program just to let you know both these machines are under 1000 us dollars this is about 700 us dollars and this is about 800 us dollars so the difference is only 100 us dollars but if you can save up enough money then go for this machine if you'd like it to be this small and also you'd like it to be cheaper then definitely go for this machine both of them produce good quality espresso depending on how you use it and how you program your machines in summary if you are using for budget friendly espresso machines for home office or small to medium sized coffee shops then I would strongly recommend either one of these two machines. If you have any questions about these at all, do let me know. I may not be able to answer all of the questions, but I'm sure someone in the community will be able to help. So stay tuned for more of these video tutorials. In the meantime, don't forget to click that subscribe button. I'll see you again next time. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.